Hello, welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to give you 10 of my favorite board games. My husband and I are very much so board game junkies. We are always looking for new board games. We love to find new games and try them out and see what they're like. It's kind of a thing where when we get together with my side of the family, as well as James' side of the family, we kind of bring our games together and we'll play game, board games for an evening or two or whatever. These games are great games for a variety of age groups. So it's they're very appropriate games for a whole family to play, but they're just as much fun to play with a party of um, young adults or even your grandma can play these games as well. Um, some of them the age does matter for skill level but they are a lot of fun. So let's get into my 10 favorite board games. So my first favorite would be Ink and Gold. Now Ink and Gold is for three to eight players. It's for ages eight and older and it takes about 20 to 40 minutes. It's a lot of fun. It is mostly a card game and you just have little gems and the idea is you wanna get the most gems. And so you have cards that you flip over and the cards either give you gems or the cards give um, dangers and your, your goal is to get through the whole thing and either come out with the most gems by the end of the whole game or um, I have not gotten kicked out of each round basically. So um, Ink and Gold's a lot of fun and I would strongly suggest this one if you have kids that are a little bit older. Um, this one would definitely not be for the little ones but it is a lot of fun. My second favorite is Code Names. Now I did talk about this a little bit in my um, favorites video for my yearly video, but um, it is a lot of fun. This one, you are trying to guess um, words that one person gives you a clue, you have to take that clue and find like however many words match that clue. And um, it's a lot of fun as well. This one is probably one that we have played, well, we've had it for a year almost a year and we have played this game for probably I would say nine to ten months straight um, it's a lot of fun it's very different all the time um, it changes up every round that you do so this one is for two to eight players if you want it really competitive you have four to eight players you can also have a lot more because you just split into two teams so you could have a huge group on one side and another it is a lot of fun when you have about six to eight players um, we the ones that can play this are about ages 10 and up and that is about right because you there's a lot of um trying to guess what the other person is thinking and that helps you find where your words are so um it is about a 15 to 20 minute game and so you can play quite a few rounds in each you can have a contest see who can get the most um wins for each round um this it would be is a great group game. So this one's a lot of fun. My next favorite would be um, Dixit. Dixit is one of our fav recent favorites. My husband's birthday is in August and I got him this for his birthday. And this one, it is more of something that you would need a little older kids to play not because it's inappropriate by any means it's just that some of the things that you are trying to get other people to guess um, you have to really think about it so this is a three to six player game it can only have six players because it's only got six sets of um, colors but you also have um, eight and older can play it. 
and that's definitely about where it should be. Um, it is a 30 minute game. This one's a lot of fun. This you're trying to get people to guess your card as much as possible. Um, you get points for that. And so that is another one of my favorites. Our next recent favorite is Concept. I also got this for my husband's birthday. This one, you are trying to get people to guess um, a phrase or a word or a sentence or like just the name of a song, but you can only explain it through pictures. And so you can give like your main concept and then sub concepts off of that. And you've got little um, trinket kind of things that you set down on the pictures to try to explain it. This one is a four to 12 player game. You could probably even have more. It is for 10 and older, anyone 10 and older, and it's about a 40 minute game. It is a little long. You can shorten it if you wanted. There's a way to shorten it. But um, that's another one of our favorites, more recent favorites. Another one is Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is definitely um, one of my favorites and it's been for quite a few years. It's a lot of fun, but it can also get kind of frustrating. Um, this one is a two to five player game because you only have that many um, train colors and it's for ages eight and older. It does take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes slightly longer, depending on how the car or how everything rolls. And so sometimes it can take a little longer, but that's about where most of our games have been with Ticket to Ride. So that one's a lot of fun. You just build a bunch of trains from one place to another and you're trying to connect as many of your trains as you can. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so the next set of games either are packed away still because some of our games we didn't unpack just because we wanted to make sure that we could have things kind of packed away in a box. So we haven't actually played this one in a little while, um, but we absolutely love it. We have it. My family has it. James' family has it. So it's called Catan or Sett Settlers of Catan. And that one is a little trickier. It's a little harder for um, little kids to understand. Even with me, it took me probably three or four times before I started to get the hang of, okay, this costs this much, this you have to buy with this, and it, it can get very confusing. So it's gonna take some time to learn, and the instructions are like a book. So it will take some time. They also have expansion packs for this. So this one's a lot of fun. Once you get used to the first game, it's kind of fun to buy like an expansion pack for it and learn a new way to play it with your regular game plus a few different extra pieces. And so those are a lot of fun as well. So that is another one. Um, another one that we don't own though is called Corkle. Now Corkle is so much fun. It's a fairly quick game. It can take a while depending on how the pieces are laid out, but if you've ever played like Rummy Cube or Rummy Cub, I don't know how some of you pronounce it, it's very similar to that. Like you have colors that you can put like a straight thing of colors or shapes, all the same shapes in a set, or you can do all different shapes but same colors, like that kind of thing. Um, it's, there's a variety of different ways you can lay it out and so but it's set up the same kind of way where you you can connect it and it's very similar to like a Scrabble setup where you you lay it out and you connect this down and that over and it's a lot of fun but um, that's another good family game that would be one that some even kids that are slightly younger could do um, another one that we don't own but we absolutely love is called Carcassonne. And that one, I know my nieces, or my niece and my nephew have played it before. And it's a lot of fun. You have these little pieces that are, have different things on them. They might have like a building or like a river or part of a city or something on them. And you basically have to connect these pieces 
to build either your own city and you get points for it and it's a lot of fun it's just these little tiles that you put together and you can try to build into somebody else's city so you get some of their points and if you build on a road build a road out you get lots of points for that too and so that one's a lot of fun my husband and I love that but we do not own it I um brother-in-law and sister-in-law they own it and it they have a lot of fun with that so that one's a lot of fun now this game is not my favorite but it is my husband's favorite and he absolutely loves this game and it's called wits and wagers so he has the party edition they have a like just a family edition i think it's called but um you have wits and wagers and this game you are given um something so give a percentage of how many um male nurses there are in the united states as of and then it gives you a year and so you have to write a percentage down and everyone puts their tile in and whoever is either on the mark or the closest without going over you get points and whoever puts their tiles on yours gets points um so it's a lot of fun my husband loves this it's not my favorite because i'm not the best with numbers and so um but he absolutely loves this so and it's a lot of just random guessing so you're not you don't even know the facts that they want you to know you just kind of have to randomly guess so that is his favorite so my last game that i have is called listography and now this game we just recently got for my brother-in-law and i actually like it it's quite a fun game we you have three different lists and that you three different types of lists that you can make you can make a list of three things a list of four things and a list of like 10 things and one of them you want to get as many the same as other players so the more you get the same as other players the more you get points for whereas others you want to have no more than one other person have it have the same thing as you um, and you get points for each item that you only have one other person the same as you and then some that you don't want anybody to have the same thing as you and so you get points depending on which list you're making and then they'll give you a list of something like name and then however in your list however many Ivy League schools and depending on what list they ask you to make will depend on whether you want a bunch of people to figure out the same ones or you want different ones than everybody else and that one's a lot of fun too now that one is one that um, we just recently got and we we've played it one time before I think we played it twice through but we only played it uh, have played it once so far because it we just got it recently so my um, we got that from my brother-in-law recently I hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up if you have some games that I did not list here that you find are a lot of fun put it down in the comments section down below and I'll look it up I love to find new games I'm always looking for them so I'm going on YouTube looking at how to play different games and um, always looking for new ones. So I will catch you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.